Holly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Mm. Thought you might like to share one with me. Oh, thank you. So, so sweet. And I saw some bread. I think yeah, Torgo really wants that bread. Alrighty, so recovered from that fight. The gang's back together. Look, aren't we just Otto would move out the way? See, we're a good-looking trio, aren't we? Absolutely, ship all three of them. I don't care what back. anyone says. I was worried. <laughs> That's my ship, and I'm sticking not bad to for it. A boy from the Imperial Barracks, eh? Yes, not bad at all. Okay. Okay, yay, Nectar! Hey, gorgeous, how are you? Anything new? Yes, a few things are new. Let's start the list. Graf said that they do turn up on their own, but I like to get them done early just because it's good experience before I fight our big baddies. I like to pace things differently. I mean, kind of makes sense. We just opened up. Oh, good. We don't know where this one is. So that one, I guess, we'll leave for now. And see if it pops up. So that's right. Let's go to... Oh, yes. Update report, Vivian. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Yeah. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent Melons. of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. I've never seen them in Final Fantasy The must before. have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? Interesting. It makes no sense. You're right, it doesn't. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? Nope. One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. Mm. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Your lovely map. Let's see your lovely map. Here we go. The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. Okay. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? Hmm. In summary, I know not to what end the royalists betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. 
but there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first mm -hmm. identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered mm -hmm. to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might mm. finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Alright. Let's go cheer some people up. I want to change my sword. Because as cool as it looks, with my overall dread aesthetic, um, the hints of yellow just are not working for me. So let's change that. But that was flame tongue. Does I think flame tongue fits the best? So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, alrighty. Um, oh, hey, good boy. How you doing? Okay. Hey, Gav. Not bad for a boy from okay. the Imperial Barracks, eh? Not bad at all. Alright, music. Got any music? Is that what I just picked up? Interesting. Oh yeah, no, really. Yeah, let's have that one for a bit. Tomes, my lovely, lovely man. How are ah, you? Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? And no. we give knowledge back. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. He... Oh my! Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. Shut up. <laughs> he is a big baby. You're a big baby. And with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanks to the <laughs> Go, put away your things. Aww. All right. Brilliant. Like, cool, day of school. I love it. <laughs> Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates, after Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no, and not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. Mm. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves mm. in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. Yeah. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with 
was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power? Interesting. I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Interesting thought that. It means a lot. I love seeing Clive grow more as a person and getting more emotional for various reasons. Thanks like he's got over his solely revenge thing and is just not trying to save people but create a better world. It's really nice. Well, someone looks <clears throat> pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Yes, ma'am. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'll start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head though. <laughs> Hello, Blackthorn. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. Oh my god! I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. My heart. This is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. Because it's not just redemption. They've probably been I'll in fear for him name. this whole time. Like he's, nice. if he's sacked her place once, who say he wouldn't do it again? Else for me. There's something new. There is something new in my chambers. I love it. You joking? Not joking. I'm amazing. Something new to lead. What's this? Desert Alliance. Ah, sit the second. I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I am confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it's worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful friendship. Very nice. we are seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all, Sid. You should tell him. Mm. <laughs> You're right. I should. Oh, am I going to cry? Well, well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop <laughs> of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. I can already tell I'm gonna cry. Oh, do you finally have stuff for me? Fancy a look at the list, do Yes! You? Quick look. There we go. Oh, so I can just go there. Interesting. Seen enough? Okay, yeah, I'll do these. I'll do these, and then I'll go see Mid. How are you doing? Is there anything else before I go? Off, I think, yeah, let's just let's do this. And do Clive. this. Do... Anything catch your eye? Um... I'm monster fighting. Oh, we must win. Good day uh, to you. It's been a while That's since we've been here. Quinton, what's up? Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. 
rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, <laughs> I wondered if you might investigate. Sure. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. Okay. All right. I will. Well, it is the Black Shields took a hiding in the hands of some bitch. Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumors, though. Go. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. I don't know what that means. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting. <laughs> most likely. Alright. And screaming. And flailing your arms around. Help! <laughs> Have a moment. There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? Watch as like an animal or something. In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. <laughs> Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. Yeah, I would too. I have been back since. I see. I'll look into it. <laughs> Thank you. I have myself heard a screeching noise while in the woods and I did the same thing we were driving through Ocala National Forest in the middle of the night Graf pulled over for a moment just to have a rest and then we heard like this scraping behind the car we didn't even wait to see what it was he just went nope and Seems turned the engine on and I have never seen bed, that man move so fast in my entire life Shall we go and investigate? it was horrifying So unless you are someone like Clive and Torgal, you still hear a weird noise in the woods. Fun. Logical. But we are Clive. So we are not going to run. We are going to- Oh my goodness, that was a hell of a jump. We are going to investigate the strange noise in the woods. Hey, there was a shiny thing there. I get the shiny you thing. there. Fuck! He's seen us. <laughs> get them before they escape. Oh, good, our Black friends. Shields. Here. I like that they knew here? immediately they were in trouble. Yes. Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Go for I should have known it'd be black shields, but I figured it was something funny, maybe like an animal. But no, just these assholes. That we are going to take care of. Yeah, we might want to leave with Lost Wing if they are this close, which is sad because they've built a good life here. But if these assholes are sniffing about. Squeeze me, sir. Oh, did I run past him? Oh, apparently so. Oh, yeah, I, I, he's you're usually back there. 
How goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root mm. out and destroy both me they and do? those I care for. Who do they serve? And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? Mm. The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrek. All that I have built here is for him. Excuse me? I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? <sighs> I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to mm. turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what happened? So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. Oh. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade. Look somewhere a else so you don't look at me too closely. Rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, oh my was rather God. more He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So oh. I set about enacting my own. Let's go kill him then. I tracked down every soul who served him. And slit their throats myself. But the Brutal. man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. Oh, the way the lighting is and on so his I face. So I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Mm. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Okay. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. This is not what I was expecting of Lost Wing. Oh, are we done? I, f I figured we'd go and help, but I guess we're done. I'm not going to change his mind. Oh, I, I was going to help. I was willing to help. Oh, I'll, I would get rid of his head. Can I help? Quinton. That his lordship's vultures should be found circling the village can mean only one thing. That he means help. to strike at us before we can strike at him. Get Torgal on the no case. He'll bite his head off. The final stage of our plan must be put into motion. Okay. Um, we are done then. Oh, interesting. 
figured you'd have to be there, but you don't. Okay, well, so we've got, there was another quest at the hideaway. Oh, so it can be there if you want, but okay, so we'd have to go back to jump. Okay, let's go here then. That's good, then you don't have to just be bouncing backwards and forwards. Cool. The most fragrant herbs and spice. Come, just like that. And without so much as a bar, you'll leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. And with amazing Low looking bread at that. I on the kindness of strangers. I'm at a loss. Please, Freaking will you see if you can toe. find him? And bites all over me. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Cool. Use your loaf. That's a heck of a name for a quest. Maybe one day I can bring Jill and Gab here. That would be nice. Hello, shiny thing. They're hard to see here because they're so white and glary. The mother crystal. Lines. It's all gone. Crazy. <laughs> Oink. <laughs> Hello, sir. I just felt like jumping before talking to you. Don't mind me. Oh, did he leave because he Excuse saw what me. happened? What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. <clears throat> Master must have ruled the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. I hated her. But she was all mm. I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her, how does a shell of a man learn to live again? It is... It's always in a weird way, it would be like losing a god that you, you know, when it's just all you've ever known, you've been told it's this amazing, incredible, life bringing thing. Yeah, and even though that's not true, I mean, it's kind of true, but we shouldn't be using it, they're not good things. Um, when it's all you've known. It's kind of like, if I guess if you lose a parent that you did not have a good relationship with, like, it doesn't, your, whether your relationship was just complicated or just you outright hated them, you would still feel some loss when they pass. So I, I, that's the only thing I can think to compare it to, something like that. Um, hmm. What advice? It doesn't sound like there's necessarily good times if he hated working there. Focus on your work seems to... I'm going to say express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Mm. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. Make loaves of bread dedicated the to the mother I crystal. <laughs> I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You've opened my eyes. You're welcome. Oh, and Wait. I... 
I'm the one who destroyed it, by the way. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. Okay. Okay, there was something in the jaw. So while we're here... Let's find the monster. I'm going to see if there's anything to boost and save while I'm here before I look. So let's do that. Okay. No, I can't upgrade that yet. It's master. Judgment Bolt. Is that what I have? Is that what I have? No. Ah, stop it. Pile, yeah, Pile Drive and Judgment Bolt. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. Pile Drive. I've, okay. Oh, I can upgrade Pile Drive. I do? No, I don't. Okay, so anyway, that works. I'm happy with that. Where do those go then? Is that just... Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I can upgrade Limit Break though, I didn't know that. That's fun. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Save. So I think I see him over there. <laughs> I think that's him. So. Let's try and get this thing first. Alright. And... Yeah, you're all furious, aren't you? And rank A! Awesome! Can I limit break right away? Yes! My blade yet hard, and soon will fly. Come. There is a feast in your flesh. Ooh. Yeah, we're just gonna unleash the Kraken right away, aren't we? Ow! Okay, can I- Clive, move! Get up! Ow! Oh, great, 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 great. Nice! 
Challenge, but I like that they're a challenge because they're just challenging enough. So you just gotta pay. It's, you just gotta pay attention to your health, really, and dodge. But yay! Okay, the, okay. I'm not going to run all that way. It's a long way. Fragrant herbs and ah, there you are, the man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. <laughs> Master, that's ready. really cute. Behold the Drake's balm. Oh, a truly that looks creation. yummy. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. That's so cute. Her steeple peaks, her fulsom spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt! Crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. I love it. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I think it looks I'd delicious personally. Say you're onto something. <laughs> uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. All right, cool. I did the jaw. So, there's one in the Velcroy Desert. So let's go here. Because if we can get these done, then that would be a good bit of experience. Get him. Go for oh, gorgeous. So gorgeous. I love it. Something tells me it's up there. <laughs> I got a sneaky suspicion it's up there. God, the range on that is ridiculous. I keep hitting it and going, oh dang it, I'm too far away, and then just nuking them. Phoenix powers are the prettiest for dang sure. You look like a thing. Um, hold on. No, I... That. Alrighty, what are you? Turtle Rank B should be okay as long as I concentrate. So I think I already did the A, so the rest. Oh yeah. I think your sword's just fine, Clive. Ow! That was not fine. What are you doing? Yes, go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. 
Ow! Ow! What the... What the... Wow! <laughs> God dang it, you are... You are the craziest one so far! You're a fucking turtle! Tortoise, sorry. I've been in Florida too long. You, sir, are a tortoise. My regular shots are hitting it. see mid what do you have to say about this guy creepy what do kid I have to eat to grow as tall as you mr stelts okay that's that's much nicer than the child with the chicken hey mid how you doing we'll come up with soon. all right clive what do you want i'm going to visit sid and i thought you might like to come with me Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Ooh. Hell the yeah. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. Nice. And those things have got more push than a behemoth <laughs> in a bamboo, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. Mm. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I'll open <laughs> you say that. First things first, I need some parts necking. The Ooh. sample are made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. <laughs> I can't make it not tell of him. Luckily, you don't need <laughs> We're very lucky indeed. <clears throat> Alright, off we go. Blackthorn, can I ask a favour? Hell with it. <laughs> it's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. 
Spare myself for your sake. <laughs> what is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? Right. Gav! Let's go see Gav. Ah, here they are. Gonna deny me the pleasure of getting them? Fine, be that way. So Liz roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. <laughs> Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Yes, sir. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. Alrighty. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. Alrighty then. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Oh, let me think about that for 30 seconds. Gav! Gav, you're with me. Dream team! Alright then. So, uh... Where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? Eh? Uh -huh. That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. Thank you, All sir. Right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting them fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. <laughs> Off we go, Gav. Okay. So... We... Going that way. Oh, it's like near us. Didn't realize we were like on the edge of it. Okay. Off we go. Gav, my dear, my darling, darling dear. Dang, it is pretty down here. Hold on a minute, Gav. Oh, you. You had your tails before, didn't you? It's just gorgeous. Gav, my love. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. I don't know what Blackthorn planned to do with it, though. Passed over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Oh, yeah. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race, yeah. Don't know how I feel about any of that conversation. All right, let's get bagging. Let's go for a swim, Gav. The water's lovely. Okay. So 
So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Okay, fine. Don't let me go up that cliff. You finished? <clears throat> how much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, fuck. You win. <laughs> That might even be enough for old Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Always. Oh, we can always have a chat. What's up, Gav? Oh. Remember how I said I wanted to bring him here? Wish fulfilled. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time, working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. <laughs> Says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Touche. Well, you keep sending me there. <laughs> I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep <clears throat> sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Like about to cry. <laughs> I love you, Gav. You've got a good heart, sir. I adore you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. <laughs> we better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead, and try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? <laughs> Let's go home. Gav. Right, Clive. I gave all that stardust to Blackthorn just like I promised. Thank you, sir. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Just for the stardust, should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. <laughs> I'd love that. I'd love that so I'll much. Make a start on putting this firm old plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. All right, let's get on with Thank other you, things. Thorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Oh, they do then. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. <laughs> Give us a shout if you need anything. All right. What if I don't come up with something soon? You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorns started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. Hmm. Convenient. What's the name back there will give you all details. 
<laughs> What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? Right. Let's go talk to What's her name? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Then go. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other uh. words, the reactor would overheat. Okay, and thank you for clarifying. Explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. <laughs> <laughs> said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? She is very passionate about her work. Uh, yes, it's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I... Probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. Oh, good. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. Clive's eyes darkened, like, God damn it. <laughs> then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Nope, that's not the button I wanted to press. Back to Lost Wing. Taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Oh, Leave that's right. You don't need behind. Everything's sad here now. Oh, hello. It's you. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? What's the creature gonna of be? Course. I'll be right back. Hmm. What could the creature be? Is it going to be slimy? Is it going to be fiery? Is it going to be grassy? What can it be? Anybody I hope. Home? I just hope it's not a spider. Oh, you! This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. You're a nightmare. Slay the enemy. thing the 
the things I do for you, Miss. <laughs> Sis! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Alrighty. Another one down. I thought I just saw yes I did. Let's go get the shiny thing and then we'll be on our way. If I don't come up with something soon. Oh cool, did you write to her? Great. That is very beneficial, Mid. actually. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight, and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. <laughs> I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains, and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Mm -hmm. Terms? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. Obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. All right, go see Tomes. Tomes. Harpocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive, always. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Would you take a look at this? For a mithril engine. <laughs> Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. How so? What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet... We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Mm -hmm. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. Mm. So if we could recreate it, it might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, Perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might I like having a previous quest come in back in relevance. It's a nice touch. They might have to offer. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, 
I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. It's a hair the knowledge of the okay. past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Hello, girls. How are you this fine day? So you need a hand, do you? Mm -hmm. We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. Mm. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Oh. Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Oh, I mean, if we're gonna go with character, then it's gonna be Jill. <laughs> so, Clive, have you made your decision? Jill! I will accompany you on your little excursion. Love of my life! Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. <laughs> I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. Okay. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Okay, cool. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I'll see you there, Joe. Oh, well. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Okay. Are we gonna have our touching moment with Jill now too? No. I get the feeling the shit's about to hit the fan. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. All right, where's Jill? Do you see Joe Torgo? Oh, there she is. Are those pepio nuts? Are you can never tell. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients. Let's go each. find them. All right. What am I looking for? <clears throat> How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Up, you'll not find a fruit. Fresh cut. Come and get them before they are. You haven't much, but you're free to look. Garlic. Ah, oh, yes. You got anything else? Nope, that's it. Keep fighting the good fight. I'm gonna go get that shiny thing. I'm not gonna run around and get them all. I'm just gonna get this one. What do you want? Oh. Gonna buy something off you, you jerk. Go on. Take it. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's going on. Moody man. Did you find everything? I did. Here. It's been too many non-fighting quests in a row. Get me nervous. 
garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. I mean, Titan was like a year long. Turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Absolutely. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Torgal just like, can you have, can I have some bread, please? That looks good. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> How could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? <laughs> I'm a delight. Prick up at the scent of sausages. He'd go racing away, and we'd have to go running after him. Slander. We'd catch you now, would we, boy? <laughs> Is there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? Torgal's just you a know, man who knows yes. what he wants. Well, sort of. He wants sausages. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Mm. Thought you might like to share one with me. Oh. Thank you. And I saw some bread. I think, yeah, Torgo really wants that bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's <laughs> ham and it was just... Oh. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. It's so nice. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, it's not. No, Jill. No. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. There's such good people that have just been thrown into shit just because of some power they've inherited. Terrible. Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Oh, that was such a beautiful moment. Really lovely. Okay, so anything super nearby that I can see? Oh, you good boy. Did you get your bread? I hope you did. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. Mm -hmm. What have you been mixing? <laughs> you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, could you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. I bet Jill loves working there. To try and like. Oh, and Clive, thank you. It was nice just being with you. So nice. Um, like she feels like she's done so much damage. So being able to give back Shame. is probably really healing for her. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. <laughs> both the shielding and the moon do already. 
It will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. I'm sure you'll be a man of action By again. The process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. I'm getting, and I'm sure part of it is just because she reminds me a lot of Riku, but also their dynamic is seems really similar to um, hers and Tidus's. Um, well, sort of. I better go and give Mid the good news then. Sibling esque. Which I enjoy. Okay. Oh, this one's nice. I might go to that. White water. Reflections. Dramatic. Hmm. Can't hear that one. Okay. I want. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Give it a minute. Is that what I think it is? Oh, let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Sounded like it was the Titan for a minute. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. Let's play with music. Know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. Yay! He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer! Yeah! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding <laughs> didgeridoo does. A didgeridoo. Displacement stacks. Same difference. <laughs> Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. All right then. Mid, Let's take you get all outside. the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallaby. Hell yeah! Let's give it a wallop. <laughs> Do we get to see the walloping? Sometime later. Okay. There it is. It's finally finished. I'll be tested. Make sure it doesn't burn up the place. Feeling my hammer arm for weeks. <laughs> Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. That's all. <laughs> sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and all the missionary displacements that Oh, I just failed to mention that. <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off. My gang in Canva can build the rest. <laughs> could luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in. You could see Clive's day. soul die a little bit then when he thought he'd have to get all that stuff again. <laughs> yeah. I love her hair. Dream hair. Okay. Oh, oh, right, you're right there. What's the matter? 
Nothing. Just daydreaming. Mm. Miss your dad. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. <laughs> I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, Aww. not for the lack of it. That's nice. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Oh, I well, thank you, ma'am. I'm trusting in yours. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. He really would. He you really mind. would. You were going to visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> like, just the fact that she has that mentality of she doesn't just want to build something for people to survive. She wants to build something that people will enjoy using and have fun using. And that's such a Sid mentality. 